Timothy Leary, the defunct Harvard professor, led the drug revolution in the 1960s as he handed out mescaline and LSD like it was candy to the youth. This in turn opened up the hippie youth of the West to the pagan demonic gods of the East who were also promoted by a Lester Crowley. We can see here that Timothy Leary is under a painting which bears the number of the Antichrist. Well, I've been an admirer of Aleister Crowley. I think that uh, I'm carrying on much of the work that uh, he started uh, over 100 years ago, and I think the 60s themselves. You know, Crowley said uh, um, he was in favor of, uh, of uh, finding your own self and, and uh, uh, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law under love. It was a very powerful statement. I'm sorry he isn't around now to appreciate the glories that he started. Allen Ginsberg first came to see us when we were just beginning. And uh, we had a, uh, a psilocybin mushroom drug session for him. I think Huxley was there. He uh, was in one room upstairs, and his uh, boyfriend, Peter, was in another one. During the uh, experience, they wandered down through the house naked. It was a big, big kind of a mansion house. And it was, it was almost Old Testament prophetic that here was a prophet coming. His eyes were gleaming. Most everybody there took LSD. We settled down to discussing the situation discussing the images being set up against everybody and reinforced, and listening to Joan Baez's records on the phonograph, and chanting Buddhist prayer. And I recommend respectfully to this committee that you consider legislation which will license responsible adults to use these drugs for serious purposes, such as spiritual growth,